What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about a subject that is very near and dear to my heart and that is guitar cover videos. Now I personally watch a lot of YouTube, like probably way too much YouTube. And one of my favorite things to watch is guitar cover videos of a lot of my favorite songs. So I've seen a lot of videos and probably a lot of your videos. And so I've definitely seen some good, some bad, and some you know. Now, I've actually made more than a few guitar cover videos myself. Uh, I'm gonna link those down below in the description. I popped them up on the screen, but that's effectively gonna demonetize this video, and I need all 17 cents that I'm gonna make off of this video when I upload it, so. Yeah. Whether you're currently making guitar videos right now and you wanna up your game a little bit, or you're thinking about making some guitar cover videos that you wanna share with your family and friends so they can see you in action. Now I figured I would take the tips and guidelines that I personally follow whenever I am approaching a guitar cover video and share them with you guys and uh, see if hopefully you guys can get something out of that and maybe it might help you guys make some better guitar cover videos. I mean I'm sure some of you guys out there are already absolutely killing it but if you are looking for a way to uh, you know to step it up a little bit maybe this might help you. So let's just dive into it and start at the very beginning of the process which is choosing your song. Now I'm sure just like me you guys have a whole ocean of songs that you like and want to do a guitar cover of. So fortunately, we get left with a whole ton of options. And while I can't tell you what to like, I can offer some advice on how you should approach picking your song. The number one thing you should definitely avoid when you're picking your song is to pick a song that is not too hard for you. Make sure you pick one that is in your wheelhouse, something that you know you're gonna confidently be able to tackle. Now, I'm not saying don't challenge yourself. If you see a song that's slightly out of your reach, maybe a song that intimidates you just a little bit, I think it's always a good idea to try to conquer that song. A lot of times you'll end up surprising yourself and you're probably a lot better than you think you are, but there is such a thing as picking a song that is just too difficult and I promise you if you're gonna put a video out, nobody wants to see you struggle. That's gonna take the focus off of the overall video and song itself and people are just gonna focus on you struggling to play that song for like six minutes. So pick a song that's inside your wheelhouse, pick a song that you were gonna have fun learning and playing. This one is really important. Don't pick a song that you have any sort of emotional attachment to. There's a lot of music that brings back memories, right? There's a lot of music we listen to now that takes us back to a certain time in our lives and that's probably why you like that song so much. Uh, you have an emotional attachment to that song. I will tell you right now, if you decide you're gonna make a cover of that song and it is a somewhat difficult song, by the time you get done stripping that song down to part by part, you're gonna rid that song of any emotional connection or attachment you have to that song. The next time you're driving down the road and you hear that song come on, I promise you, you're gonna skip it. One thing that I've definitely experienced is that if I decide to cover a song and I spend two weeks or a week or whatever it is learning the song, practicing it, mastering that song, going through all of those struggles to learn it, getting frustrated with that song, by the time I get done, I have no real emotional attachment to that song anymore. I've effectively just completely stripped that song of all of the memories that were tied to it and all I can think about is all of the struggle and all of the things I went through to cover and learn that song. Yeah, definitely don't pick a song that you really like that's attached to some part of you. All right, moving on to part two, and that is learning the song. Now, one of the most important parts of learning a song is obviously the tabs, but I feel like a lot of people don't always make sure that they have the correct tabs, or maybe they just don't check where they're getting their tabs from. There's obviously a lot of websites on the internet where you can get these tabs from, but for the most part, those are all user-based submitted tabs, and you can't always verify if they are correct. So my advice to you guys is do the best you can to find official tabs. Now what you can do is go to the artist's website and see if they have any official tabs there that you can purchase. A lot of times it's like maybe 10 bucks, 15 bucks, it really isn't that much. And honestly, if you're gonna do a YouTube cover, then you probably don't have a problem helping to support that artist that you're going to do a cover for. Uh, there's also websites like sheethappens.com. Uh, I'll link that down below so you guys can check that out where they have what's called authorized tabs. It's just a company that takes these albums, transcribes them, and then puts out tablature for you guys to purchase and they are authorized by the bands that they are making the tabs for. That's a very good way to make sure you have some sort of an official tab that you can work off of so that you don't have to worry about that part. So let's say you're gonna do a cover for a song uh, by an artist that is not very mainstream, maybe they're underground and don't have official tabs out there and you just can't find them anywhere. My best advice is Yes, go online, go to those websites like ultimateguitar.com, find the best tabs you possibly can that line up with how you think the song is played, and then do this. Go on YouTube, try to find any video you can possibly find of this artist playing either for like some sort of magazine or some sort of a YouTube channel, 
where they do those how to play riffs, try to find anything like that, or try to find as much live footage of that band and try to zoom in on that guitar player's hand playing those songs and then cross-reference that with whatever tabs you happen to be trying to use to learn that song. I've done that for a couple of songs in the past and it's definitely paid off. One of the worst things that can happen when you put all this time and effort into a cover video is everyone commenting, wow, you played that song wrong or you just didn't play that correctly. Where did you get those tabs because the song's not played right? You just definitely want to avoid any type of negativity coming out of something that you are making from such a positive place. Number three, once you learn that song, practice the song. I know this just sounds like common sense, but it, so many people just don't do this and I don't understand why. We're all in a rush to get this video put out so everybody can see you shredding it up and playing your favorite song, but you also want them to watch a good video. If right after you learn the song, you just get the basics down and then start trying to shoot the video, then you're gonna be extremely tense, you're not gonna be fluid, you're not gonna be confident, and people, especially other guitar players, are gonna be able to notice just how much you're struggling to play the song. Just a quick example of this, when I did my all the steel cover of his song Balance that he put out, that is an extremely difficult song, I think by anybody's standards, uh, even his. So I took probably five to six days of just practicing that song after I learned it, playing it from beginning to end over and over and over again until I finally could play that song comfortably, until I could play it with confidence. Do yourself a favor, do your video a favor and put the time in, practice. All right, tip number four. I have no clue why I'm like numbering these. I, I, I told myself I wasn't gonna number these before I started the video because I really didn't know how many points it would be. I didn't like break this out beforehand. Uh, whatever, tip number four. When you are recording your audio into your digital audio workstation, uh, essentially this is when you are recording the audio for this video. This is what everyone is going to hear in your finished product. Take all of the time you need and break the song up into as many parts as you need to. Now, just keep in mind, the person that recorded that original track didn't do it all in one take. At least I'm pretty sure they didn't, but I know there are some crazy guitar beats out there that probably are one take wonders, but for the most part, these guys are not doing it all in one take. They are breaking that song up into multiple different parts. Now, I know for a long time when people were coming out with these covers, they had this thing where they would put the camera in front of them and they would also have their computer in view and you could see it recording as they're playing it. Basically, their way of saying, hey, I'm recording all of this right now, this is all essentially one take. I hate to burst your bubble, but for the most part, if there's multiple angles, how's that even possible? Unless he has seven cameras recording him at one time, then he probably did one angle, then another angle, then another angle. They didn't record it all in one take. I'm guilty of this. I even have a video way back when, when I did a Kill Switch Engage song, and you can see the thing recording behind me. It was like my very first cover video. I thought it was very important to put that out that I was recording it all in one take. It really isn't. Take your time recording the guitar audio and try to make the best track you can. Now this next tip is going to be equally as important as all of the other tips that I just gave you guys. If you guys don't execute this last tip, then everything you did before this is pretty much a waste of time. Put the same amount of resource, time, and energy into making the video as you did all of the other steps. If you take all this time and effort to learn practice and master this song, and then you take even more time to record the song so that it sounds really, really good, then don't cheat yourself by just giving everybody one static shot with a potato camera of you playing this song. One of the things you have to realize is there is an ocean of people making guitar covers right now on YouTube and keeping somebody's attention for six to seven minutes is extremely difficult. This isn't like Instagram where it's like 60 seconds or less. You're trying to get somebody to watch your entire video and that's really hard to do these days on the internet. So you wanna give people a very aesthetically pleasing video. You wanna shoot multiple angles. You wanna be very careful and picky about what those angles are. It's like, yes, take the time, do angle after angle, move the camera around, do whatever you have to do to get the coolest looking angles of you playing guitar. It's gonna be different for everybody. Everybody. Use cool lighting. You want to do anything and everything you possibly can to stand out and make the video fun to watch so that you keep people interested during the entirety of the video. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys got something out of all these tips that I just gave you guys. These are just guidelines that I follow whenever I am doing a YouTube cover. And by the way, if you guys are currently making guitar cover videos, please feel free to link them down below in the comments so I can check those out. I would love to see what type of content you guys are making and putting out. It's just personally something I really enjoy watching. So throw them down there. I definitely want to check them out. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys got anything out of this, please hit that like and subscribe button and I will catch you guys on the next video.